Hi guys, Miles here from Miles Better Golf and the teaching profession at Southwark Park Golf Club. Look, sorry about the shed, but the daughter's got to come first and she's inside doing her maths. So I'm going to give her a bit of peace and quiet while I try and show you a little good drill for you to practice at home. And it shows you what you can do with limited space and limited equipment. Uh, look, it's miserable outside again, like it was last week. You've got to probably ask yourself as golfers what we're we really missing and it's not an awful lot. So it's got to keep going. Five million odd people have been jabbed now. So for me, like, I've got to be glass half full and we are coming towards the end of this. But in that meantime, let me show you a little drill which is constructive. Uh, it will help you with your golf. There's lots of parts to, to this so really about, even if you wanted one thing out of this to hit the ball further, this will help you. Okay, so even if you take that one thing out of it, it, we all want to hit the ball a bit further, but you need to do it in a constructive way. So I'm going to talk to you about just turn and coil and load, which is, it sounds like, like buzzy words, but actually it's very simple. And it's just making sure you do these things rather than not do it. So let's just, I'm just going to use my alignment sticks. Okay, so let's talk about the top half of your body and the turn that you need to make to hit a good, powerful golf shot. So in it's, this will be able to, you can do this with a golf club, just grab your golf club instead if you haven't got a stick, right? So I'm gonna just crop it across my shoulders and cross my arms and tilt forward like I'm gonna hit my shot as normal. So like in last week, you're gonna try and get yourself into this athletic position and just make your backswing and see where you get to. So I'm looking for you to make from this point to 90 degrees, which is basically the club pointing downwards to where the ball is. So all the big hitters, I always say show you back to the target, probably when we're doing it, uh, when we're doing it hitting on the range, I'll get you to try and feel like you've turned your back towards the flag. And in that way you make a big turn. So you, you know, you can see, a, a, I see a lot of players which are almost just swinging hands and arms and they'll do that. I mean, it's not very powerful and it's not very athletic, but your shoulder turn is almost non-existent by doing that. You'll get this sort of, half-hearted effort at a turn. So that's number one, even this is like a good first tee drill, grab your club, stick it across your shoulders, and it'll be a good warm up to the start of your, of the, of your golf. So big shoulder turn, you're gonna use the bigger muscles at the top of your body to generate leverage and power. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick it through my belt loop. This will look a bit weird, but so uh, you'll see the sense in it in a minute. Because this is the trickier bit and the, probably the bit that people get wrong more. So in the context of a hip turn, People that do it wrong won't turn their hips anywhere near enough or too much. So let's go reverse pivot where the weight goes onto your left foot instead of your right. There's virtually no movement in that. It's probably like 10 degrees and I'm gonna want you to try and get to 45. So if you do that in context with your shoulder turn, it'll also help you with the alignment. The feet, knees, hips, shoulders all nicely squared up. You can see if you're starting to get any of that wrong, it won't look right. So in that position, you're gonna push your right hip back and kick your left knee in a little bit and try and get your this second stick or whatever you might use to 45 degrees. So there's quite a bit of travel on it now. And you can see also if you probably got that wrong, you know, a big sway or a big movement away or you know the, the right foot, the left foot lifting too much. So power base, flexing your knees, everything's ready to go, big shoulder turn nice tight 45 degree hip turn. Now you're loaded up with power to release back out the other side again. So yeah, little tip for you this week. Hopefully, 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 very soon we can get outside and start hitting the ball properly. But hang in there everyone, we're coming to the end.